hello and welcome back to more Dragon Age The Veil Guard coverage. Uh, since there was so much to see in the prologue, I'm giving you a few different videos. Today's video is all about Ballara. Uh, we'll get to meet her, see what she's up to, and uh, learn more about our new elven companion. Enjoy the show. Where'd you come from? Ballara? Ballara Luter. Strife and Eelin sent us to find you. Who are you, exactly? Call me Rook. Lace Harding. Protocol is to wait a full week before they send anyone out to look for me. I've only been gone three days. Well, the situation's changed. For the worse, unfortunately. Our gods, Elganon and Gilanane, they've escaped from Fenharel's prison. And by all accounts, they want to destroy the world. Oh, yes, that is very much for the worse. Okay, wait. I need a second. It's a lot to take in. It does sort of explain a few things, though. Like what? The surge of raw magic in the area. These artifacts started waking up a while ago, but in fits and starts. One here, a couple there. Then... A couple of days ago, the sky split open. And now, raw magic. Thick as fog. Only a god, or gods, could have done that. There's something kind of exciting about it. And dangerous. Really dangerous. Dangerous enough that I was going to head back to the Veil Jumper camp, but... But what? See that shimmer? That's a Veil Bubble. It's separating us from the rest of the real world, so to speak. You can only pass through it one way. Once you're in, you can't get out. Strife and Eelin said you're their best veil jumper. Hope that means you've got an idea. Maybe. A bubble like that? There has to be something at the center that's generating it. Something powerful. If we can find it and remove it safely, I mean... The bubble itself should collapse. And then we're back in reality? I really, really hope so. Well then, let's get going. I've been trying to get to the artifact at the center of the bubble, but these magical constructs keep getting in the way. We've handled our share of demons. A few dozen more shouldn't be a problem. Spirits, not demons. They're animating those suits of armor. The armor's attuned to the artifact to protect it from threats. Threats like us, I'm guessing. Let's do it. this artifact we're looking for, exactly. I have a couple of theories, but nothing definite. 
We might find some clues in the ruins, though. see elven ruins that haven't been picked over. Not many people come this far into Arlathan. Just veil jumpers, mostly. And people trying to save the world, apparently. Wow. I've never seen anything like this. Wait. Is this... No! It can't be. Not here. Can't be what? We have to get over there. The artifact we're looking for must be inside. What was this place? It could have been a temple, could have been where they stored food. But judging by the sentinels, it's probably something important. It almost feels like an armory, or something like that. Are we just supposed to jump across? Oh, no, we can make a bridge. There should be a power crystal somewhere nearby. Got it. Bring it over here and slot it in. And there we go. Easy. Huh. That's a great trick. A resonance amplifier. It's drawing magic from the ring temple to this area. I need to shut it down before we can go up the path. But doing that will attract anything nasty that's hanging around. We're ready. See up ahead? Magical barriers. In between those arches, blocking the way forward. We need to find whatever's making them. Magic energy. Pat should be clear ahead. Another sentinel comes. Struct. We'll have to take it down. Okay. Easy enough. But watch out. Whenever you see one, there's more nearby. 
We've gotten past sentinels and everything else. Now it's time to see exactly what this artifact is and what Blara can do with it. Enjoy. Seeing these kinds of ruins never gets old. Can anything here tell us what that artifact is? I have a theory, but we're miles away from where that artifact could be. So what kind of artifact shows up in an armory? A weapon? An archive spirit. A what? A creature of the Fade, bound to a crystal. Our ancestors used them to store knowledge and to help them dream. Another one of those resonance amplifiers. Get ready. Once I shut it down, the path ahead will remain blocked until the magic dissipates. We've got your back. Sure, here we go.
seen Darkspawn this deep into Arlington Forest before. As far as I know, it's never happened. If the gods are blighted, like Solus claims, maybe they're communicating with the Darkspawn somehow. Directing them? You saw those Darkspawn, though? Something was different about them. And we'll stop them once we get out of this bubble. Right. Let's get to that central temple. Right where you broke that wall. And another resonance amplifier. Should be the last one, I hope. Me too. Finally, let's go into the temple and actually deactivate the artifact we've been chasing all of this time. Have you noticed something about the blight? Where it is, I mean? It's almost like it's feeding off the elven magic. what I think it is, then the alignment means we're here. This is it. This is where it was kept. Where what was kept? The Archive Spirit, or as the ancient elves called it, the Nodis Durthalin. It means the inevitability of knowledge. 
What does that mean? I don't know, actually. The notes were never very clear on that, but I plan to find out. More constructs ahead. The in Looks like this door is going to need a second power crystal. Then let's go find one. There has to be another one of those power crystals around here somewhere. Another ballista. I bet we could use it to break through that wall.
did it. All that's left is the Nautis Drithalin. I have so many questions for it. How do you ask it questions? It's an archive spirit. You'll see. Okay, here it is. The Nautis Drithalin. So we take it and we're good, right? We can head back? Oh, I wish. No, it, it, it's a lot trickier than that. Right. Because darkspawn, demons, and animated suits of armor aren't tricky enough. Nothing's ever easy, is it? So what makes this tricky? If I remove the artifact the way I'd usually do it, it'll explode and take out half of Arlathan with it. Good news is, I think I can shunt the energy somewhere else. Okay, here we go. The way the magic is pulsing, I've never seen this before. It's almost like it's breathing. I wasn't expecting to fight an ogre today. Then again, I also didn't expect to learn that my gods are rampaging around and trying to end the world. 
Just one of those days. Okay. Let's see. Okay, okay. There we go. No, no, no. That's good. I think. Oh. Uh, what does that crystal do? Keeps the artifact powered. Focuses the ambient magical energy. That's why these things still work thousands of years later. Oh. No, you don't. <laughs> Sulanan, Vir Sulevanan, and Asal Dirthara. Well then. I am the Nadas Dirthara. Right, um, I have questions. I am the Nadas Dirthara. What do you. Guess it's broken, like the rest of the artifacts. It isn't just any artifact. That's the Nautis Durthalin, an archive spirit. And it does work. Or will, at least. Its crystal is broken. I guess maybe the blight threw its resonance off somehow. But I should be able to fix it. It's kind of my thing, fixing magical stuff. Strife in Ireland will want to know about this. And the Blight, and the Darkspawn. Let me know when you're ready to head to the Veiljumper camp. Now that Ballara has joined the party, we can see what kind of skill points and skills that she has, along with double checking on some of our other companions. Ready to go? Right. Let's get moving. Come on. I'll show you the way to the Veil Jumper camp. Let's follow Ballara to the Veil Jumper camp, see what she was up to before we met her in the forest, and also get more of a look at Arlathan Forest. Enjoy. Eleven wounded, sixteen on bed rest, and some of our most experienced fighters are still missing. We're running out of bail jumpers. Whatever's going on out there, it's scary.
Dr. Helen Milva never reported back from Demeter's crossing. There are a hundred people living in that village, or near enough. You're back, and you're alive. Good. Sounds like things have gotten a lot worse since we left. Darkspawn. They're showing up all over Arlathan, attacking anyone in their path. We've evacuated three daily settlements already. We ran into Darkspawn too, near the Nadis Durthalan. Wait, you found the Nadis Durthalan? The Archive Spirit? We could ask it about the gods, figure out their next move. If it weren't broken, maybe. But we're not getting anything out of it anytime soon. Meanwhile, bell jumpers are disappearing. Something out there took them. I know. But maybe, if we find them. We find the gods. Or at least some sign of where they might be. But Arlathan Forest is huge. Where do we even begin to look for them? Demetta's Crossing. What? Irlin and Strife. When we came in, you said you'd lost contact with Demetta's Crossing. We could go check it out. The three of us, I mean. Four, I'm coming with you. Nev, you were still shaky, and... I'm coming, Harding. I don't know what you're going to find there, Rook. Likely nothing good. But you'd be saving people, and it might get you on the trail of the gods. Demeta's crossing's on the far side of the lake. There's a small boat at the docks. It'll take you there. Watch your back out there, and good luck. There you go. A uh, little more focus on Bellara, the Veil Jumper camp, and uh, meeting her for the first time in the game. Thank you so much to EA, Bioware, and Dragon Age teams for having us out on September 5th to get some hands on time with the game and to see what the Veil Guard is going to bring us. Thank you for watching. Thank you for hanging out. If you like this content, please hit follow or subscribe. And uh, see you October 31st for our introduction into the Veil Guard. Have a good day.